stop worrying about your CPU. Now, I, I don't want to discourage you. I'm not attacking you. I want to encourage you with this video, but I get people that reach out all the time. They say, well, my CPU is abnormally high. I just updated Ableton Live. I've got a brand new computer and my CPU is super high. What do I do to lower it? And I reach out and I go, okay, what's your CPU at? Well, it's at 35%. Okay, well, are you having issues with that? Well, no, no, everything's fine, but my CPU is super high. Here's my word of encouragement to you. Uh, you don't need to worry about it. It's not a problem until it's a problem. And what I mean by that is if your CPU is running at 25, 35%, but you have no problems with your Ableton Live set, then don't worry about it. You're perfectly fine. Now, I, I don't want to just make this video a rant and, and, and me, you know, attacking you for worrying or stressing about your CPU. I wanted to think about this. Here's a couple reasons. Here's a couple times that you should worry and stress about your CPU being high in Ableton Live. Uh, number one is if it's abnormally high. And what I mean by that is if your CPU is, is 90, 90%, 95%. Uh, and what we're really looking for here is, is making sure we have enough headroom in our set. Uh, what I mean by that is if you're running at 90%, we only have 10% headroom of our CPU left. We're running at 95%. We've only got 5% before we completely peak uh, on our CPU usage. And so we want to be watching for headroom. If you're at 35% and as you play, it goes up to about 40%, um, then you're fine. Uh, but if we go from 30 and we get to 95%, then suddenly we don't have enough headroom and then we should worry about our CPU. The other thing we want to worry about is, is abnormally um, uh, you know, high spikes. So again, in that example, we're playing, we're at 30%, everything's fine. We unmute a track that has a VST plugin loaded on it and suddenly our CPU spikes up to 95%, that's a problem. And that's a sign that the issue with our CPU spiking is related to that plugin, that particular device. So at that point, we want to see if there's an update available. Is there an update that you know maybe makes it compatible with the OS that we're using? Or are we just doing more than our computer can handle? So when I see abnormally high levels, when I see uh, sudden spikes in CPU like that, then that for me gives me a reason to stress and to worry about my CPU. The third thing that I wanted to mention is if your CPU usage is high without you playing, if you're not playing any audio, not playing any MIDI, and you just look at your Ableton Live set and your Ableton Live set's just hanging at, out at 80%, that's cause for concern. What that means, again, most likely is there's a plugin somewhere in your set that is not optimized for live performance, that's not optimized for your computer, that's just taking too much CPU up. It also maybe means that you're doing too much, you've got too many instrument racks loaded into your Ableton Live set. Maybe the instrument that you're using plus the 19 audio effects you're using to create a ambient pad is just too much for your computer. And in that case, we need to reduce that amount, we need to check for updates our plugin. So again, stop worrying about CPU. It's not a problem until it's a problem. But if you do see uh, a situation when there's not enough headroom, uh, then you should worry about it. If you do see a situation when you see sudden spikes in CPU, then it is a problem. If you do see high CPU when you're not playing, uh, then it is a problem. If not, if your CPU is 20, 30%, even 50, 60%, and you have no issues, you have no spikes, uh, when you unmute things, when you stop playing, it reduces, then you're perfectly fine. So stop worrying about it. Let's go about your day and do something else that's gonna make you have a better day. Hit subscribe to this channel. Every single day, 10 a.m. Central, I post a new Ableton Live tip. I'm not always angry. I'm not always ranting about things but you'll find useful tips and tricks to use Ableton Live on stage. Hit the subscribe uh, button. Then I also encourage you to hit the bell icon so you're notified when I post new content. Check it out on your phone if it seems interesting. Click through and watch it. Uh, and if not, ignore it and just watch the next one. Thanks so much for watching this video. Thanks for your support. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.